Today we will be discussing morphology, reproduction and life cycle of Volvox. Volvox is a spherical or ovoid multicellular green alga belongs to division Chlorophyta. It is distributed worldwide and comprising about 20 species. Volvox is a cosmopolitan and one of the typical genera of the group. It is found in ponds, andages and even in shallow puddles. Volvox is one of the planktonic organisms which help to color the water of the pond green. The Volvox colony is of constant size and shape for a given species. Each colony consists of a definite number of the cells arranged in a specific manner and forms an integrated whole called synobium. So Volvox is haploid in all active phases of its life cycle and has asexual as well as sexual reproduction. Next is morphology. Volvox cells are spherical or ovoid. You can see here in this diagram having a cup shaped chloroplast, two flagella, nucleus, vacuoles, and an eye spot. Eye spot helps with the light perception and uh, contributes in phototaxis. Volvox synobium. I can see here this diagram. Volvox synobium is the largest and most highly differentiated of all the free uh, swimming uh, colonial forms. It looks like a minute green ball, uh, the size of uh, just a small pinhead, varying from 0 0.5 to 2 mm in uh, diameter, and therefore can easily be seen by naked eye. It is sphere of extracellular mucilage or matrix with a firm uh, bounding layer. It is a sphere of mucilage or matrix with a firm bounding layer. It contains many small biflagellate somatic or vegetative cells. You can see here these small uh, are the vegetative cells. In addition, there are few large non motile reproductive cells called gonidia, uh, mostly in the posterior pole. The reproductive cells never develop functional flagella and never contribute to any somatic function uh, of the individual. Uh, they are entirely specialized for reproduction. In some species, the reproductive cells are derived from cells that originally look and function like somatic cells before they enlarge and divide to form new progeny. Depending upon the species, the number of the cells in the colony varies between 500 to 50,000 uh, cells. Each cell has its own gelatinous sheath or mucilaginous envelope and uh, thus separated from its uh, neighbors by a considerable uh, expense of the gelatinous material. And this shows that Volvox is not an individual but an association of number of independent cells. In majority of the species, each cell is connected to its neighbors by a series of broad protoplasmic strands. As you can see here, these are protoplasmic connections. Next is reproduction. So, Volvox is haploid in all active phases of its life cycle, but it has two types of reproduction asexual and sexual reproduction. All the cells of the young colony are green and vegetative in function. These are somatic cells. Then, in each adult colony, a certain number of the cells, especially in the posterior part of the colony, uh, enlarge and uh, enlarge considerably and function either as asexual or uh, sexual reproductive cells. So these cells are recognizable by their large size. As you can see here, large size, definite uh, large nuclei, and uh, more dense granular protoplasmic con uh, contents. Adult Volvox colony exhibit a degree of polarity and differentiation of cells accompanied by division of uh, labor. So it is indicated by the position of the vegetative and reproductive cells. The anterior vegetative cells have large uh, eye spot. This is an eye spot that guide the colony to light uh, while the reproductive cells posteriorly can reproduce. So as the nobium has all its reproductive cells either 
uh, entirely asexual when the season is favorable for growth or sexually toward the end of the growing season. So first of all, we'll discuss asexual reproduction. The daughter colony or uh, gonidium grows from the reproductive cells around the equator of the colony. So each special reproductive cell gradually pushes back into the colony, withdraw its placenta, increase in size and become uh, becomes more or less rounded form, right? So this is gonidium. So each then undergoes about 11 successive uh, longitudinal binary fissions forming a daughter synobium within the parent cell wall. The first five divisions are asymmetrical, resulting in an embryo consisting of 32 cells of similar sizes. The first division of the cell is longitudinal and uh, in the anterior posterior plane uh, in respect to the parent synobium as whole and the second is at right angle to the first. After that, each of the daughter cells divide again and forming a curved plate. I can see here, this is E diagram. This is eight cell, curved eight cell plate. Now, then the 16 cell stage is arranged, this F diagram, 16 cell stage is arranged in a hemisphere called plechia. So this is plechia in which the flagellated ends of the cells are directed toward the interior of the plechia. Now, fifth uh, cleavage produces fifth cleavage produces thirty-two cells, and the sixth division is asymmetrical, since the sixteen most interior cells, one half of the thirty-two cells, means typically cleave unequally to produce sixteen cell pairs of unequal sizes. Sixteen large gonadial means reproductive cells and 16 smaller somatic cells. The larger cells uh, will become the new reproductive cells. Finally, at the end of the 11 cell division, the embryo is a hollow sphere with one layer of the cells whose flagella are directed inward and the sphere has a small aperture. This G diagram has a aperture called phyllophore which is uh, directed to the exterior of the mother synopium. Now, at the end of the division stage, all the cells are in contact with each other. So, for the colony to be motile, flagella must be directed to the exterior of the plechia. So, a fascinating process corrects this. Just look at this H diagram. Corrects this orientation in the life cycle of wall box. This is called inversion. Right? So, in this process, the young daughter cell, uh, means colony, turns inside out through the uh, phyllophore, means aperture, to bring the flagella uh, from its interior to its outer surface. And the mechanism of this process is a series of cell shape uh, that changes and causes, uh, uh, causing the multicellular sheet to bend outward. And the band propagate from the interior to the posterior pole, eventually resulting in an inside out spherical sheet of the cells. And inversion together uh, take about 8 hours. And uh, the complete asexual cycle uh, takes precisely 2 days when uh, it is um, synchronized by a suitable light dark cycle. About a day after it is done, the well-developed daughter colonies bulge into the hollow of the parent colony where they remain for some time before they are set free. Both the adult colony and the daughters within uh, means increase in size but without further, uh, further cell division by depositing large quantities of the matrix. So these daughter colonies usually escape by rupturing of the parent wall and uh, uh, they are enzymatically released from the parent and swim away. Next is sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction in the flagellates has rarely been observed other than in volvocales. Uh, the volvocales display 
all gradation of uh, sexual reproduction from isogamy to highly developed heterogamy. So, in Volvox, uh, it is of advanced type, whereby true eggs and the sperm develop from the special reproductive cells. Therefore, the reproduction is of oogamous type. So, uh, Volvox cartel reproduce asexually most of the times, uh, and in nature, it reproduces sexually once each year. As in asexual reproduction, reproductive cells around the equator are specialized to dwell into germ cells. So most species have male and female colonies, uh, two types of colonies. However, in some species, the colonies are hermaphrodite and um, are this able to form sperm as well as ova, although not at the same time. The reproductive cells that uh, will develop into male gamete called enthridia and the enthridia undergoes repeating fission to produce rounded uh, oval shaped sperm packets which are uh, sort of loose aggregates. So it is astonishing that such a lower organism has a device to preserve and protect its sperm uh, for a longer time as in the case of uh, spermatophores of uh, metazoa. So the sperm packets is a flat packet of 16, uh, 64 or 128 constantly modified sperm. Each in cylinder pale and bears a pair of flagella in the middle of its length. Upon the liberation of sperm packets um, uh, from, um, from the parental colonies, they swim away as a unit to a receptive colony in search of eggs. So, on the other hand, egg developed from the specialized uh, reproductive cells that have not undergone division. A few uh, macrogamy means eggs are large and loaded with food for nourishment of the young colony. When these macrogametes are mature, means egg matures, the sperm packets enzymatically lyases uh, a hole in the colony uh, and uh, dissociate into individual sperm, which swim slowly through the gelatinous uh, means uh, ugonial uh, uh, wall. The sperm enter the cell properly through the beak-like receptive spot and fuses with the egg nucleus to form zygote. Then the fertilization means this type of fertilization is internal, where the ovum is fertilized without becoming detached from the parent synopium. So eggs that have not been fertilized might dwell parthenogenetically, thus forming daughter colonies. So soon after fertilization, zygotes secrete a thick three-layered smooth spiny protective outer wall and uh, becoming an oospore. So this function as a resting stage. Meiosis then occurs during the, this resting stage and the zygote produces four spores. Then the parent colony decays and the oospores fall into the bottom of the pool where they uh, survive uh, where they survive the winter. So upon the restoration of favorable circumstances, oospores germinate and each mu spore uh, either dwell to form a new colony or dwell as a biflagellate cells uh, that later divides into a small colony. So just look at this diagram. Here, this has been sexual reproduction. Here you can see here, this A, this is enthridium. And uh, from B to C diagram, they are showing stages, uh, means these stages showing development of sperms. So here uh, are the sperms. Then look at this second diagram. Here, this is ugonium, A, ugonium, and means with immature egg. Then B, this is with mature egg. C, this is showing fertilization. And D, containing an oospore. Thank you.